It is said that as long as you pour liquid nitrogen on an iron lock, you can easily break the lock with a sledgehammer. Is this true? To verify the authenticity of this claim, the trio decided to conduct a control experiment first. First, Tori hung the lock on the edge of the table and then used a sledgehammer and a shovel to try to break it. After Tori struck the second blow with the sledgehammer, the iron lock was successfully opened. It only took four seconds. Next, it was time to see if the liquid nitrogen could damage the iron lock. Since liquid nitrogen is extremely dangerous, Glenn had to put on protective clothing and then pour the liquid nitrogen directly onto the iron lock. After the lock was completely frozen, Tori would strike it in the same way as before. Unexpectedly, this time he broke the iron lock with just one blow. Apparently, this small iron lock couldn't fully demonstrate the power of the liquid nitrogen. Then Tori found a larger iron lock and hung it on a shipping container. Immediately, Tori started his frantic attempt to break the lock. He struck the iron lock with a sledgehammer for four minutes. Even when he broke the door handle of the shipping container, he still couldn't break the big iron lock. When Glenn took out the key to unlock it, he found that the iron lock was still in working condition. Then they hung another identical lock and froze it with liquid nitrogen for a full five minutes. After the iron lock was fully frozen, Tori began his violent attempt to break it again. To everyone's surprise, after he struck it five times with force, the iron lock was completely opened. Apparently, the liquid nitrogen did make the lock more fragile. To better demonstrate the skill of using liquid nitrogen to open locks, Tori found a door lock that could be normally open for the ultimate experiment. After continuous striking, Tori successfully broke into the door after 5 minutes and 37 seconds. Similarly, after freezing the door lock with liquid nitrogen, the internal structure obviously became less sturdy than before. Tori didn't strike the lock many times before he broke it open, and it only took 64 seconds in the end. However, this method is indeed too dangerous, so it's better for everyone not to try using liquid nitrogen to open locks.